7.52 here. Simon Carr joins us, co-host of Fusion TV's The Soccer Gods. Good morning, Simon Carr. Morning, McGraw. How are you? All right. So did Hope single-handedly save the game for the U.S. last night? <laughs> single-handedly might be playing a bit too strongly, but she certainly played her part. 0-0, uh, she made two incredible saves. Australia were on top at that point. And uh, she came up trumps, you know, all the, all the flora around her at the moment. And uh, she, she, she delivered when it mattered, so that was great for the team. Yeah, we're, we're uh, big super fans of Hope Solo. She spent some time here in uh, St. Louis when she was playing for the women's soccer team here. So uh, yeah. we're big fans of, of her. Overall, the U.S. team, I guess, didn't, didn't play that well, right? Well, they didn't play as well as they would have wanted to, I guess it's fair to say. Like I say, definitely in the first half, the first half an hour, Australia looked very good. However, first game of the World Cup, most important thing, get the win, which they've done. And uh, with the other result in the group of death, uh, Sweden drawing with Nigeria, they're pretty much in control. If they get a win on Friday, then it's looking really good. Uh, may, what Are we making too much of the fact that this game is being played uh, on artificial turf? I don't think so. I think it's, uh, it's a shame that that's happening. I mean, if you look at um, Abby Wambach, you know, she's coming back from a hamstring injury. Uh, she mentioned that the, the surface was terrible yesterday. And for someone with injuries and, and that kind of thing, it can be difficult. I did uh, the other day that the company that makes the fields uh, suggested that the, the, the turf was given six to ten weeks to bed in, and some of the stadiums have only had a week. So uh, we'll see how that pans out. There'll be a lot of great knees, I expect. We've seen a couple of pictures this this morning of the rug burns and stuff. Uh, right. I mean, that's going to, I mean, it's one thing to get it on, on the opening night, but, you know, that's going to do damage three, four, five games in. That's right. There's going to be a lot of uh, stinging in the shower, I think it's fair to say. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's one of those things where it's going to be a factor in this World Cup. There's no two ways about it. I is that an offshoot of the FIFA scandal? Do you, is there any talk about the reason why it's on the turf is because somebody paid somebody off? Uh, I've not seen anything about that. Um, let's face it, with FIFA at the moment, nothing would surprise you. But um, I don't think... Uh, that's anything to do with it. I think it was more, they were more concerned about weather conditions than yeah. anything else. But, um, but you never, like I say, you never know with FIFA. They need some positive headlines, let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's, what's next for the ladies? Well, they've got Sweden on Friday, uh, and that's, that's an important game. Uh, like I say, if they, if they win that one, uh, they, you know, they'll, they'll be complete control of the group uh, and looking to progress. Now, I've got America down as favorites to win the whole thing which probably means they won't because I'm terrible at predictions. But, um, but you know, I think it's looking good. Yeah. Uh, what, why did this Hope Solo police report get released over the weekend? It seems like it was a concentrated effort to embarrass her and the team right before the World Cup. Yeah, it's an honor. With these sorts of things, uh, you know, sometimes journalists in their scurrilous ways do wait for the prime time to release the story. I suspect it's something like that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the way the team responded, the way they've responded to it in, in both uh, the media reaction and on the field last night, particularly with Hope herself, I think it bodes well for the tournament. Yeah, I mean, it was, what, two years ago this happened, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it was released? I mean, it's very yep. circumspect as to why. Uh, exactly right. Is, is Hope, she was here when they were having a friendly here at, at, at Bush Stadium, and she stopped by. She seemed like she was in the best shape of, of her life, and she was focused. She has been called the world's greatest goalie. Um, is she, in your mind, you know, ready and up for the challenge here? Just that one. anyone who's read her autobiography or seen any interviews with knows that she's a very determined, focused person. And I think, uh, my impression, certainly uh, the, kind of, the kind of woman who's going to take this versus and say, right, I'm going to show you all. Uh, and the only way she can do that is on the field. Yeah. Who's going to be the U.S.'s biggest competition? That's a good question. Uh, Japan was very strong, uh, slightly biased, but I know that the English women uh, are confident this time time around. So those are my picks. Uh, actually, will be tough on Friday. Be, they, they had a bad result yesterday, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how they will bounce back. Simon Carr, co-host of Fusion TV's The Soccer God. Simon, thanks for checking in. Good luck. Pleasure. You got it. 757 here, Big 550 KTRS. That Fusion channel is actually pretty good. I watched that. Oh, is it? I find myself watching that channel more often than not. Hmm. It's got some good, good shows on it. All right.